If you know me, then you know I love hip hop. And if you really know me, then you know I love Christmas music. I'm one of those weirdos who will throw on a Christmas song in July. So you know I'm the perfect person to talk about the best Christmas rap albums. While there hasn't been too many Christmas rap albums over the years, there has been a few that are pretty great. So I'm going to take a look at some of those today. There really is an album here for almost every era and subgenre of rap, so there's definitely something for everybody in here. Also, just so you know, this won't be a ranking. I'll be mentioning these in chronological order by release date. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome to the Andy Williams Christmas Special, and I'm your host, Andy Williams. Tonight's guest, Carrot Top, music from the Dead Mountain Brando Trio, and superhero Captain Planet. Now, on with the show. First up, we have the 1987 compilation album, Christmas Rap. After the success of Christmas and Hollis, this album was released featuring 11 jams from various 80s rap staples, including Run DMC, Dana Dane, and Spider D. Your mileage may vary on this one depending on how into the 80s rap aesthetic you are, but if you enjoy that style at all, then you definitely get a kick out of this. Something about this production style and the nursery rhyme-like flow and rhyme patterns of that era lend themselves perfectly to Christmas tunes. Christmas and Hollis is definitely the most known song here, but the album is filled with great additions to any Christmas rap playlist that are right on par with the Run DMC classic. To my knowledge, this is the first Christmas rap album ever released, and it's a great entry for the genre into this sound. And we're back. And when we come back from being back, we have the Fat Santa Contest, featuring myself, the super villain against the real Santa in a pot belly throwdown to the death. Moving into the 90s, High for Christmas by the West Coast Bad Boys, presented by Master P, is the underrated gem of the Christmas rap subgenre. This album takes the No Limit sound and effortlessly applies it to the holidays. This is easily one of the better albums on this list. Sonically, it sounds like the Ghetto Boys crossed with some G-Funk, with some Jingle Bells sprinkled in for good measure. Song for song, this might be the best and most consistent album on this list, with thematic undertones of poverty and how Christmas affects people in the ghetto. Whereas a lot of these albums feel like sort of a compilation of holiday related songs, this one could hold its own against any other rap albums of this era and style. My only issue with this one is that I just wish it was more easily available, but it is on YouTube so make sure you check that out. After the break, after this next break, I have readings from the Bible. Next up, we're staying on the west coast with Christmas on Death Row. This is one of the more well-known albums here, and for good reason. This compilation shows off the wide variety of skill sets that Death Row had to offer in the mid-90s. While the rap songs steal the show, this album is actually a great mix between Death Row gangster rap with some classic mid-90s R&B. Santa Claus Goes Straight to the Ghetto is not only a great Christmas song, but also one of the greatest collaborations between Snoop Dogg and Nate Dogg that we ever got. This song alone earned this record a spot on here, but there's also some great stuff here from the Dog Pound, Lil Flip, and more. The only thing that's missing here for me is just a song from Tupac. A Changes style Tupac Christmas song could have been a masterpiece, but I guess this will have to do. Hey, don't hit that clicker. We'll be right back. <laughs> don't hit that yo. <laughs> Next up, Gift Rap by The Cross Movement. Don't get distracted by the horrible cover art here. This is one of the best albums on this list. It's definitely the best lyrical offering here, giving us joints that go deep into the meaning of Christmas, along with elite storytelling and great beats. And maybe most importantly, this album never devolves into tacky rehashes of classic Christmas songs that most of these others get into. These feel like actual songs, instead of a novelty that the artists are trying out. The Cross Movement is a Christian rap group, but don't get it twisted. These dudes are highly, highly skilled, and their messaging doesn't distract from the great music here. Overall, I highly recommend this one for anyone who loves hip-hop, not just this particular sound or style. Who, who, who? We got an elf kicking contest coming up next. Gotta kick this shit out of one of these little what? Ne next on Adult Swim. Go team! Who? Next up, a dipset Christmas by Jim Jones. It's just so awesome to me that an album called A Dipset Christmas even exists. Jim Jones will forever be a saint for this. If I'm being completely honest, the album as a whole is not too great, but the opening track Dipset Christmas Time is absolutely incredible. Possibly the best Christmas rap song ever recorded. It perfectly blends that Dipset style with Christmas music, fully equipped with a carol-like hook and a choir of bells through the beat. Besides that great opener, If Every Day Was Christmas is another solid addition, and Ball Nine Christmas is a pretty cool remix of Christmas and Hollis. 
Overall, an awesome snapshot into an era that I feel like needed a classic Christmas song, and Dipset gave it to us. Ho, 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 ho. Next up, A Rap Vacation Xmas by Ali and Mind Design. A Rap Vacation Christmas is definitely my most listened to album on this list. Produced half by Ali and half by Mind Design, this instrumental album is the perfect vibes for the Christmas season. The second Christmas time hits, this song is playing for me on repeat. This is probably the only album on here for me that captures the feeling of classic Christmas music and can go toe to toe with those Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin classics. It feels like Vince Guaraldi's Charlie Brown Christmas album, but hip hop. Up next we got Merry Christmas Lil Mama by Chance the Rapper and Jeremiah. I feel like the world just collectively forgets that this project exists every year, but I don't. Chance and Jeremiah surprisingly have a ton of chemistry, and their styles actually mesh perfectly with the Christmas sound. They have songs on here with a bunch of different vibes and styles too. Not every song on here is really about Christmas, but they all fit together so it works surprisingly well. Now was this the best thing that Chance has ever made? Absolutely not. But it's also far from the worst. I really like when Chance is taking risks and not just making the most pop accessible music. And he's definitely trying a lot here. Especially if you're more of a modern rap fan, I definitely recommend that you give this a listen if you haven't already. After all, this is coloring book era Chance, not the big day era, so you have no excuse. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not the villain, not no danger mouse. Up next, Doom Christmas by Cook and Soul and MF Doom. This is an MF Doom remix album by Cook and Soul, and I'll say this right now. If you haven't listened to this album yet, then stop this video and go check it out. You have no excuse. Cook and Soul takes Doom's vocals and puts them over some of the nicest Christmas beats ever constructed. The instrumentals are on Spotify, and the whole songs are on YouTube, but both versions are great to listen to. This project is just so cool, and it makes perfect sense because Doom is sort of like this Santa-like mythical figure of hip-hop, and it's a good mix of well-known holiday songs he samples, with some great underrated gems as well. Overall, just an awesome project that I'm very happy exists. Squidbillies! Might see a little front button here and there. On Adult Swim. What is front button? <laughs> front button! <laughs> front button! <laughs> front button! <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Yuletide Bangers by John Wayne. Another beat tape here. This one I've just discovered recently, but I'm really loving it. Compared to a rap Christmas vacation, this one has more direct flips of popular Christmas songs as opposed to being a sort of holiday soundscape. But the beats here are just as great. The beats are fun and familiar in a way that Christmas music should be. My only thing is that if you remix a classic song, then it's very hard for the new version to live up to the original. And this tape has a lot of examples of this. But again, I love these instrumentals and beat tapes because around the holidays when you're around your family and they may not like listening to hip hop, but these instrumentals are the perfect thing to put on because I feel like it's hip hop that everyone can enjoy. Mecca, lecca, hi, mecca, hi, ni, ho, ho, ho. Pee Wee's Christmas special is up next on Adult Swim. Warm it up in here a little. And now into the modern trap era, East Atlanta Santa 3 by Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane is East Atlanta Santa. He has about four of these albums, I believe, but this one is the best and most Christmassy to me. The entire album isn't Christmas related, but songs like Jingle Bells intro and Snow more than make up for that. And Gucci's rendition of 12 Days of Christmas is probably the best modern Christmas song to me. It's so good. I feel like Gucci's style makes so much sense for Christmas music because of how similar he is to 80s rappers with his sort of simplistic flow and lyrics. But no matter what the reason is, I don't really care because it sounds great. It's been a couple years since he's given us another project in this series, but I hope we get another one soon. The world needs more trap Christmas albums. Hey, the villain is here with holiday cheer on Adult Swim. And now, Family Guy. And that just about does it for this one, everybody. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite Christmas rap album. And if you're a rapper or a producer, I challenge you to go make some Christmas songs. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like hip-hop needs more Christmas music. 
anyway as always you know the drill if you enjoyed the video and want to leave a like and subscribe to the channel that is always appreciated i've been feeling really blessed lately because the channel's been doing great i really really appreciate all the support from everybody thanks for watching and merry christmas